along with Cracker Jacks here from Montour and Hobby doing a recap of the 2005 holiday shopping season. And this is Mike, a sales associate at Montour and Hobby. Hi, I'm Mike. How's it going? Uh, do you want to ask me a question or, or what? Well, what was the top items that all the kids loved this year? Definitely, uh, I would have to go ahead and, and say the, the ugly dolls. Uh, we... Uh, we have uh, several different models. Uh, this was by far the most popular. Uh, his name's Jiro. Uh, it's, it's a plush toy uh, designed to be um, ugly, uh, but at the same time sort of cuddly in, in nature is really what they were going for there, and I think they really they really hit it on the head with that one. Uh, What's the price for that? Uh, just a little over $20, $20.50 for the, for the doll. That's nice. Yeah, I, I think they really... They really hit the nail on the head with this one as far as designing a, a ho holiday item. Uh, was there anything else or just... Uh, well, what other items? Other items? Uh, definitely, I think we've got, um, let's see, the, the Blancus, uh, which actually came to us uh, earlier this fall uh, from Europe, actually. Uh, I'm thinking France, the Alsace-Lorraine region in particular. Uh, it's grown popular over there in the past few years, and, you know, I, I think it's popular. It really helped launch it you know, um, across uh, the, the pond to us, you know, per se, in, in the Americas, and I think it's really, its popularity has only, uh, you know, helped it, uh, you know, as, as we move, you know, westward. Uh, so, you know, again, I think, I think that was something that they did well, you know, for, for designing this. Um, and, and as far as, um, you know, something a, a little bit more uh, domestic, uh, you know, we have the Tamagotchis, uh, which, which, you know, again, uh, a perennial uh, hot item uh, around the Christmas season. And, uh, you know, I think it's going to be, it's going to be a while before these, um, you know, you, you, you don't see them anymore. Uh, so, you know, I, I think, again, that's, uh, you know, that's something to, uh, to look for again next year. Do you think we could get a quick tour around Toronto and Hobby? Oh, absolutely. You know, I don't see why not. We've got some time. So why don't we just start over here, and I'll take you around the store. Um, as we move uh, in this direction, we're going to come to the toddler aisle. And, uh, you know, as we come down through here, if you look to your left, you'll see a small scooter. Uh, scooter. Did I mix up scooter and toddler in the same word? I think I might have. Uh, as we come down through, we have the Ryan's Room Doll Houses, which again, a perennial bestseller. Uh, though a bit on the pricey side, but you know, made out of hardwood and it's something that's gonna last you a few years. As we come up through here, this is primarily our board game aisle. Uh, you're going to find the more adult games on the right side from your perspective. And uh, some of the smaller, some of the uh, more child's genre uh, of game is going to be, from your perspective, on the left side. As we come through here, uh, we're going to come around. That's our, all our poker sets right there, 25% off uh, through the end of the month. And then we're going to come to our rocketry section. Uh, we've got the model cars here, uh, some die cast models on this side, coin collecting right here. and. As we come to the back of the store, we're going to uh, near our remote-controlled car section. Uh, I'm certainly not the most familiar uh, with this section of the store, but it does tend to be uh, the uh, most easy. Uh, but then again, it's um, definitely a, a year-round uh, bestseller. Uh, you know, I, I think. You know, the, the fact that we keep so many spare parts in stock really, really helps, uh, you know, you know, things run smoothly. Um, as we head this way, uh, we come up our arts and craft uh, section, which is, uh, as you can see, primarily arts and crafts and clay and pipe cleaners um, and glow in the dark is right here. Uh, let's see, as we come around here, we have Benders and the two Klutz Racks, um, which is the largest collection of Klutz in the Champlain Valley region. Um, and Power Rangers have pretty much accumulated in this area, while the Army Men have uh, 
amass their forces across the aisle um, adjacent to the Power Rangers. Um, as we come down this way, you can see our uh, train, our running HO scale train set, which was constructed by our manager and train enthusiast, Jerry S. Jones. Do you want me to keep talking? Hi, and welcome back. As we come around through here, uh, we're going to see most of our Lego, which is going to be on your right. Uh, if you look directly behind you, you're going to find our collection of Dino Attack Legos, which just came in this summer, and again, one of the one of the hotter items uh, this year. Um, as we come down the aisle, we're going to come through uh, puzzles, which are going to be in two aisles on your left, and the more female-oriented Legos, the Clickets, uh, are going to be right here. They'll be directly in front of you. As we come through here, we have the some out-of-season merchandise. Uh, we're looking at mostly things for the beach and the sand, and directly to your right is going to be our collection of Playmobil. If you want to get a shot looking down the Playmobil aisle, that would be good. And you can see how, again, it's the um, largest collection of Playmobil um, in, in the area. Uh, as we come through here, you're going to find most of our plush items, um, mostly T.Y., Mary Meyer, a few other uh, smaller brands, but for the most part, those are the, uh, the two major brands that you'll find here. Uh, um, we we uh, pretty much have these small uh, plastic molded items. Uh, you're looking at basically Schleich and Po for that. Um, and other than that, uh, boy, uh, what is it? Uh, we have some posters, uh, some connects. Uh, we've got my manager, Stuart, uh, right over there, Stuart Wilkins. Thanks to him for you know letting this all happen. Uh, you know it was really, you know, I'm at a loss for words really. You know, but it's uh, you know again thanks to, to someone who, who makes it all possible. You know, if there if there's that certain someone, it's it's Stuart Wilkins. So you know I, I think he, uh, he he deserves some some credit for this. And uh, you know other than that, you know I think you know before we go, you want to say hi to uh, our vacuum. And, uh, you know, that'll pretty much be it. Uh, so, you know, I, I, think, um, I think you've uh, pretty much seen it all. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off. Again, you know, Cracker Jacks, thanks for, uh, for giving me the opportunity Thank to show the store to the, uh, to the viewers. And, uh, you know, so this is, you know, Mike Daniel signing off for Vermont and Hobby.